My name is Gina Delavedova. I am the VP of National Sales for Bamboo Wine Merchants, and I'm here today to introduce you all to Tolaney El Paso 2019. So I wanted to start at the top with Tolaney, and we couldn't do this without introducing Leah Tolaney Banville. She is both the Banville Wine Merchants owner, and she also owns the property Tolaney in Castel Nuovo Veradinga in the southernmost Chianti Classico commune. It's a very beautiful area with rolling hills, not as high as elevation as some of the other communes within Chianti Classico, but really um, a beautifully warm place. So the wines that are produced in this area are uh, richer, rounder, more forgiving. Also a place that you'll find some beautiful plantings of international varieties such as Cabernet and Merlot, which we're gonna try a little bit of that with Del Paso today. So we have to start at the top with the family. Uh, Tolini is family owned and run. It's multi-generational and hopefully will continue to be for a very, very long time. Owned by Leah Tolini Banville, but her father actually, who was uh, Pierre Luigi, left Italy uh, when he was about 20 years old. Um, a, a very typical immigrant story as so many of us have and didn't return until he was in his 60s. So he actually settled in Canada. He did everything from washing cars to, oh my gosh, he worked in the oil fields and eventually became very much a very successful Canadian businessman. So in his uh, early 60s, he decided that what he wanted the most from his legacy was to come back home to Italy and he wanted to own a winery. So it took them four years to find the Tolaney estate and they purchased that and started Tolaney in 1998. So Tolaney is this beautiful rolling estate, about 108 hectare, about 50 under vine all organic. So they started farming in 2013 organically. In 2023, they received their EU organic certification. And so that's something that's very important to them in this, uh, in this winery. Unfortunately, Louis passed away in 2020. And as Leah's uh, come in as the ownership, you can see generationally, Louis loved international varietals. He was um, a big fan of Bordeaux. So he really embraced Cabernet and Merlot in this area where Leah is a big fan of Sangiovese. So as, as you're continuing and, and the more we all learn about Tolaney together, the more you're gonna find the wines that have Louis' signature on them and then the wines that have Leah's signature on them. So today we are going to try the Tolaney Al Paso, as I mentioned, 2019. And Al Paso is actually the name of this beautiful vineyard right in the middle of the estate. And Al Paso, when you come into the driveway, you can actually see this almost circular forest that is the namesake of this winery. Go ahead and get some in the bottle here. So this is uh, equal parts Sangiovese, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. It spends 14 months in wood fermenters and also in wood barrel. So you've got this beautiful blend of several different personalities. The Sangiovese gives it the backbone. Merlot gives it its roundness, um, and Cabernet gives it its body. So to me, El Paso is a wonderful, what I call bridge wine, um, especially if you have a steakhouse or you have a restaurant or concept that has maybe a d more domestic centric customer palette. These are great wines where people want to know about Italy, but maybe they're afraid to pick something up. And El Paso, because of the Cabernet and Sauvignon and how it kind of mellows out the Sangiovese and the structure and the acidity of Sangiovese, I think it's a beautiful wine to introduce people to. It's a great by the glass option as a premium by the glass and super representative of uh, terrific uh, wine from the southern area of Chianti Classico. What you'll find, as I mentioned to you, the Sangiovese gives it that structure and then you've got these beautiful blue and black fruits from the Merlot and the Cabernet Sauvignon. You can't forget the tannin structure, but because of the way that they blend these together and the, and the choices that they make in the winery, you have this really well-rounded wine, even in its youth, and obviously it will last quite a few years too and get those secondary and tertiary um, flavor notes that uh, come online at, at uh, a later point in its life. So it's great now, it's great later, and uh, we hope you enjoy the wines. Cheers.